Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Turbo Racing's TC01 or also known as the C81. It is a Bigfoot baby monster truck. And we are also checking out the TC02, also referred to as the C73 or C72. It is a mini sports car. Now they are both 1 to 76 scale, 30 minutes of runtime, 7 kilometers per hour, fully proportional steering and throttle, two wheel drive, ready to run RC vehicles. So first, here is the C73 or the TC02. Now the C73 is basically the same as the C72. There's also the limited editions and the classic editions for both of the models. The only difference would be the color and the body styles of the vehicles. So this here is the C73 in the classic edition. It is gray with green racing stripes and has a black spoiler tail. Now I'm not sure which real life model is supposed to be, but they kind of look like the old Toyota Supras maybe, or is it the Mercedes AMG GTR maybe? Anyhow, on the bottom is the type C charge port. We have the on and off switch. Loosen the screws to remove the front and the rear light holders. This will allow for the removal of the shell and also the clear plastic light covers. Now it also comes with two do-it-yourself shells so you can customize your own shell and two whole sets of the light covers and the holders. So the headlights and the tail lights are affixed to the motherboard itself and there's more LED lights on the bottom of the board for the ground effects. On the top is where the battery is, and it is a 40 milliamp, 3.7 volt LiPo battery. It is said to be good for about 30 minutes of runtime. The whole thing weighs in at about 14 grams. Here is the receiver antenna, and here is the motor. Now the tires are actually made out of rubber material, so it is super grippy. And let's see, here's the charge port in its entirety. So you can charge it up using the remote controller itself or use the provided USB to type C charge cable. And here is the TC01 or the C81, the off-road 
baby monster truck. So it's got the larger wheels and larger rubber tires, which has a very good traction for its size. It comes with a removable roof light bar, which you can just pull out and it's just clipped on. Now the shell is also just clipped on, so there's no screws to loosen and it just pops right off. So as you can see, the roof light bar is connected here. So you can just disconnect and remove the roof light bar. So the setup is basically the same as the C73, but the C81 has a larger battery. It has a 75 milliamp, 3.7 volt battery. And the whole thing weighs in at about 18 grams. Now it is set to provide for a 30 minute runtime as well. Now, although the mid chassis is basically the same, it does have a beefed up suspension system to hold bigger tires, but it does not include the ground effect lights and the headlight and tail light assembly like the C73. Now the remote controllers are the pistol grip style remote controllers, which comes apart for easy storage and transportation. Simply push the locking lever and slide it out to disassemble just like that to put it back simply just slide it back in and it'll lock into place both models come with the same exact remote controllers they are however colored the same as the car so it is easy to grab the right one for the right car as you can see we have the orange color scheme and we have kind of the chrome silver color scheme here. Now they do come pre-bound from the factory, but just in case they go out of the bind for some reason, or you grab the wrong remote controller, the binding process is very simple. On the bottom of the cars, there is a bind hole with two contacts. You can kind of see two little contacts there and they do give you a clip like this kind of clip here to bridge the contacts but you can use a small screwdriver like this or something similar that conducts electricity to, to bridge the two contacts and put the car into a binding mode now do this with the desired remote controller turned on and it will automatically bind to each other just like that so the remote controllers have a really nice foam grip on the steering wheel and we have a power switch It's a three position power switch it has steering dual rates it has steering trim it has throttle dual rates and throttle trim we also have a speed changing button sort of a lever slider we have a 20 50 a hundred percent positions so speeds one two and three can be had and we also have the steering reverse switch there's also on the side the channel three button push button and we have an auxiliary channel four switch it is a three position switch now on the bottom of the remote controller is the battery bay so turn the locking dial clockwise a quarter of a turn to remove the battery tray. It will take four AAA size batteries. It also has the type C charger built in to charge the car. Simply slide the lever on the bottom and the type C receptacle pops up. You can charge the car just like this. Or you can charge the car with the battery tray inserted into the remote controller. And this is the way it's supposed to be here. It is meant to be. So it is charging the vehicle. Now the C81 also comes with a type C extender since it has bigger tires. So unlike the C73, which has no issues fully connecting 
to the charge receptacle since it is low to the ground, the C81 needs a little help to fully charge. So you get the extension. And then attach the card to it and it will charge. You see that little red light? That indicates that it is charging. Now, once it is fully charged, the red light will turn itself off. You can put the tray back by just inserting it all the way in and turning the locking dial left counterclockwise quarter of a turn and it will lock into place. Now, while it is charging, the power switch can be set to the mid position to turn on an LED light. Now, you can change the color of this LED light by short pressing of the auxiliary channel 3 button. Various colors, and it turns off as well. Now, you can long press for a slow glow effect. You can go ahead and change the colors too, and it will have that slow glow effect as well. Now, this light will also turn off once the car is fully charged as well. So this remote controller is set to have a control distance of about 30 meters. All right, guys, so here is the C81 powered up and ready to run bound with the remote controller. The rooftop LED light bar is turned on. So the front white LED lights can be turned on and off by pressing the channel three auxiliary button. Now the rear red LED lights can also be turned on and off by sliding the channel four auxiliary button to the left position and back on by sliding it back to the mid position. Now slide the channel four auxiliary button to the right and the front lights will flash twice. So on the C73, the ground effect lights are turned on and off with the channel three auxiliary button. Now slide the channel four switch to the left and both of the front and the rear lights will turn off. Now slide it to the right position and the headlights will flash twice, just like the C81. Now the C73 has a brake light that comes on when the throttle is reversed once. Now when it's reversed twice, the car will go backwards. The C81, however, does not have this feature of braking or the brake lights, and it will go backwards every time it is put in reverse. Now the C81, instead of coming with extra shells, comes with four jumping ramps, two high jump ramps, and two low jump ramps. Arrange them together however you like and you can have lots of fun. Now the C81 is made for these ramps and handles them very well. The C73, however, with its low profile tires and smaller wheels is not made for these types of jumps, but will still make them when placed closer together.
All right, guys, so here's the C73 on the tabletop in speed number one, a little confined area with some obstacles. And this will be the slowest that I can make this card go. Since the throttle is proportional, you can give it a tiny bit of throttle to go very slow. So even with a limited amount of space, you can finally control this RC car. And here it is with full throttle in speed number one. And you can still finally control where it goes. It is not that fast here in speed number one. So here is speed number two. So even in speed number two, you can still control the throttle to make the car go just as slow as speed number one because of the proportional throttle, which is really nice. But once you pull the throttle a little bit, it does go fast enough and gets a bit harder to control. Yeah, you kind of have to go into the zone. <laughs> and I hear I'm not getting myself into the zone. So here's speed number three. And amazingly, even in speed number three, with just a tiny bit of throttle, you can still go as slow as speed number one. And this is the slowest that it will go in speed number three. But once... The throttle is pulled a little bit, it does get really hard to control as well. You will definitely want a bigger area for speed number three. So now here is the C81 in speed number one. Now it can also go very slow with a tiny bit of throttle, just like the C73, same remote controller. And that is one of the things that I really like about these turbo racers, fully proportional throttle and fully proportional steering. Now here it is with some throttle. It is so much faster than the C73. It is hard to control even in speed number one. So I would say the C81 definitely is faster than the C73. Now let's see it in speed number two here. So Again, you can slow it down and go really slow. But again, with some throttle, it is hard to control and it definitely needs a bigger area. All right, so here is speed number three, and it is the same story here. You can go slow as well, but it gets way too fast once you give it some throttle. Very hard to control, and you definitely, definitely need a large area. All right, guys, so here's the C73 on the garage floor cement in speed number one. And this is full throttle. Very controllable and very accurate. And now here is speed number two. Much faster, but still very manageable. Now this is full throttle as well. It can go on a little bit of terrain like the carpet runner here, nothing too heavy. And it will also go over the concrete joints as well. And very easy to control. Oh yeah, lots of fun. Okay, so here is speed number three. And now it is showing a little bit of power. Tires are spinning out. 
but still very controllable. Some full throttle passes here. All in all, lots of fun to be had. A little bit more carpet. Oh, 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 getting stuck. No, nope. you can easily reverse and get out. Oh yeah, really nice. Good behavior on this one. And here is the C81 in speed number one, full throttle. Now it is a lot quicker than the C73 and very controllable in speed number one here. Yeah, a little bit of carpet runner. A little bit more. And able to cross the cement joints with no problems. And now speed number two. Full throttle. A bit of spinning out. But it is a lot more faster. I may need to decrease the steering rates on this one a little bit because of the spin outs. No problem on the concrete joints. No problem on the carpet runner. Yeah, nice and fun in speed number two. So here is speed number three and yeah, a bit uncontrollable here because of the power it has and uh, spinning out on the turns. All right? Get myself lost under the table. But check out the headlights, huh? Pretty nice. A little spinning out. Okay, here's are some speed runs. So the throttle needs to be uh, gradually increased or it will spin out when you're trying to do speed runs. So this little thing has lots of power. Yeah, and one thing good about that is that it can do some tight donuts as well. Nice, huh? And now here is the C73 on some carpeting in the living room. Unfortunately, it doesn't do very well on carpet with those smaller wheels. It struggles to get a grip. However, the ground effect LED lights look really cool, don't they? And now the C81. Now the C81 has no problems on some low profile carpeting in the living room. It actually thrives on it. It's got them big wheels and tires, so it is perfect in the carpeted living room floor. It'll actually run rings around the C73. And at times, it will climb over the poor C73. Yep, and it'll even flip it over and push it around as well. Now here I have found the perfect terrain for both of them to thrive. It is some smooth concrete, but not as smooth as the garage floor concrete. And the C73 has no issues. And that speed number three and with full throttle, it is simply awesome. It is highly controllable and it is super fun to drive. Now it is the C81's turn and as expected, it is a perfect playground for it as well. Now it is able to be driven in speed number three this time with full throttle and without spinning out. And the controllability is awesome as well. So whether you like playing on a tabletop, indoors or outside on the sidewalk, the Turbo Racing's 
C73 and the C81 can give you 30 minutes of fun per charge, and they are highly portable to take along on a trip. So that'll do it for this video. And if you want to check it out for yourself, the links are provided for you down below. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.